It's Janet from the Wilmot Public Library. The 4th of July was weeks ago, but if your neighborhood is like mine, the fireworks are still booming. I have to tell you, I am not a fan of fireworks. I have a small child and a dog, and I like to sleep at night. Fireworks just make me nervous, on edge. I guess I understand the need to get outside and let off some steam. I think I have a solution. Silent fireworks. You can get your feelings out without bothering the neighbors. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a couple kinds of silent fireworks using common household items. No need to drive to Wisconsin or Indiana. You could call this project a confetti popper, but I like to call it a shush shooter. First, you need a toilet paper tube. Then you need a balloon. Stretch out the balloon, maybe even blow it up. Not too loud. Then cut off the top of the balloon, like this. Then tie off the bottom. Take the open part of the balloon and stretch it over your toilet paper tube. You'll want to attach the balloon to the toilet paper tube with tape around here. Then you can decorate it with whatever you want. I used this shiny red paper. I stuck it on there with some glue and a little bit of tape. And next, you need to find something to shoot out of your tube. I happen to have some shredded colored paper on hand. I cut it up into small pieces like this. Whatever you do, um, make sure it's something that's easy to clean up because I don't want your parents getting mad at me. Also, if you're doing this outside, make sure that whatever you are um, shooting off is biodegradable and it won't cause problems for plants or wildlife. So here is my red shush shooter. I'm going to load it with confetti. Three, two, one. This next kind of silent pyrotechnic is so peaceful it could double as one of those relaxation jars. It's fireworks in a jar. First, find yourself a clear container. You can use a glass. You can use something kind of funky like this old maple syrup container. You can use a vase like this one. Or if you're worried about mess, use a jar with a lid. Fill it most of the way to the top with water. And then you're going to add vegetable oil and food coloring. I'll show you in the kitchen. Measure about three tablespoons of vegetable oil into your container. Pick a couple colors of food coloring, colors that you think will mix well, like red and blue or red and yellow. Then put about four drops of each color into your container and wait. Now watch. The fireworks will happen gradually and without any noise. Now that I've made some silent fireworks, 
I feel so much more relaxed. And I've got all this time to think while I'm watching the fireworks. I've got some big questions. Why didn't the oil and water mix? How did the food coloring get through the oil? And how does the shape of the container or the surface area of the oil affect the way the fireworks work? I've got time to think about that shush shooter too. How does that work? What forces combine to make it shoot confetti? And which steps or ingredients could I vary to change the way it shoots? I think I'll stare at this jar and silently mull it over. Ah, peace and quiet. Now that's something to celebrate.